This is a Nishiki willow. It's a small shrub form willow. It has nice bright new foliage, pink in color. It has delicate catkins which are pendant yellowish in color and appear in early spring, usually April, just before the leaves, leaves unfurl. This, this willow likes to grow in moist, fertile, well-drained soils. It will tolerate poorer soils, sandy soils, or clay. But the doppled willow is most noted for wet soils, and but will tolerate drier conditions once established. Make sure when you're planting this willow, it gets ample supplies of water. Not like it's a pond, but make it so that it never dries out. The growth habitat when young is upright and outwards in all directions like as you see on this plant. As the plant matures the branches will arch gracefully. Mature height can be 10 feet in ideal conditions. Best to keep this smaller and trim out the old wood on a regular basis. This helps promote a hardier plant and also gives you more red stems for the plant during the winter months. This willow is susceptible to many insects and diseases but pruning will help you alleviate a lot of the problems. The plant can get anthracnose, does get rusts, is attacked by aphids, caterpillar, leaf beetles and even sawflies. So you do have to watch the plant to some degree but not like babying it along every day. It can be propagated from softwood cuttings, layering, or in many cases just taking a branch, snipping it off and putting it in a, in a vase of water in your house, keeping a fresh water supply to it every other day and letting it root out that way. It's a great addition for a property where you have a background that is not white in color. Obviously, this plant, if you have a white background, will not show up very well, but a darker background shows up very well. A red background would be great, a gray, a dark, a brown, tan, deep tones. Highlight this plant dramatically. So give us a call at 215-651-8329.